Hey, welcome to worshiptutorials.com. <laughs> we think we might call these these gear videos. Bradford and I have been kicking this idea around WT Tone. Yes. The WT Tone edition. WT Tone! Of worship. There may be t-shirts involved. There may be a theme song involved. I just did the theme song. I think we just... I think just, we're, just grab that. And we're well, we're well on our way <laughs> to to branding this thing right. And in this particular episode of WT Tone, we're talking Line Six HX Stomp. Mm -hmm. It's got to be one of the coolest pedals released in a long time. Or given direct in use. device. Yeah. Or interface. <sighs> this thing or... is awesome. And uh, I'm gonna let Bradford take over here because he's the one who masterminded this whole thing. But we're basically talking about how you can turn with one piece of gear, which we are using a Jet Micro, uh, but basically an external foot switch with a couple switches, you can basically turn the HX Stomp into a full rig, which is what we've done. So the, the, the music you heard in the beginning was all from the HX Stomp, and we're using this Jet Micro just to turn things on and off mm -hmm. within the Stomp. So Brad, you built this patch. Yeah. How did you do it? Well, what it actually you done? <laughs> first started because I saw that Junior at Jet was Junior making Jet. this yeah. was making this little controller. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, I want to send you one and see what you think. Right. And when we first got the Stomp, people were asking so many questions about what we were going to do. Yeah. And every time somebody would were to ask a question, their application was different than other people. Some right. people use this. They throw it at the end of their board. Or they don't even put it on their board. Yeah. They just use it for amps, and that's it. Right, all the, just the amp modeling. Just the yeah. amp modeling. Like, modeling. they want to do, like, a Vox and a Fender and, like, mm -hmm. whatever. Some people are putting this on a board, and they're using, like, the, the reverbs from here, or the delays from here, or they're using it for, like, when you consider how much it costs, and you consider how many different blocks you can get on yeah. it. Some people are using it for a lot of things. You can put an effects loop and put it like before for mods and then run dirt and then run this thing again for delay and reverb. So many options for how to use this thing. It's very modular. Yes, exactly. That's in exactly the way you the can word. put it in your setup. Yeah. yeah. So if you can, I've heard crazy ideas of how people are using this thing. Mm -hmm. Lots of like crazy random ways that like just, if you can dream it, you can do it. With six blocks anyway. With six blocks for now. Yes, but the other thing you can do with this, which you have done in this patch, is um, you can make buttons change parameters within blocks. For yes. example, your reverb, you have a button that makes it go from normal reverb to lots and lots of reverb. I will showcase now. Okay. So, um, yeah, do you want to walk through the patch? Yeah, let's just do the whole thing. Okay. So, first off, this Jet Micro thing is, is, is really cool. It's MIDI. Now, you can get a, a button, like a, a two-button controller. A TRS situation. And, yeah, and do TRS. Yeah. But, like, you can't, as far as I know, it can't be as uh, flexible on the fly because it's mm -hmm. TRS, not MIDI. So this being MIDI, he can send different commands and do stuff. Yeah. So um, we got that going on. I'll show, tell you all what that's doing in a second. First off, over here, this blue button, this is our chorus. Mm -hmm. As you're going to hear, uno momento, uh, it's set up a la Phil Wickham's Great Things. Yes. So I wanted to it's a pretty heavy pick a song... Yeah. That or pick a like put together a patch that kind of showcase a lot of different things at once. Okay. Um, so the first block actually we hit is a chorus, and that's assigned to foot switch. And one. that's assigned to foot switch one. Um, now we'll go across this way for buttons. The next button is what turns up your. And if I cycle over here, you can see uh, turns up the feedback and the repeats. Or I'm um, sorry, the mix. The 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 repeats in the mix on our delay. So just. More delay. More delay, yeah, more repeats. And what is your delay set at? Quarter? The, the uh, Dotted eighth. Dotted eighth, of so, course. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing you have to know is if you were to set it to switch um, time. subdivisions, Subdiv yeah. uh, or time, for sure, or if you were to have it switch the scale even, mm -hmm. um, the scale kind of so gives you, you like a width. Almost. Dual delays? Mm -hmm. If you, if you were to, to switch that, Though and you hit, while you're playing, you're gonna hear it warp. You can't you can't not have that happen. You can have it not warp when you're tapping tempo. You can have so you can set that. Mm -hmm. But if you switch parameters like that because they're time bound and you're playing, it's gonna whoop. You'll hear it. It's you can't change. hit around that. Yeah. Yeah. Next here we have uh, the Ganymede Reverb, one of our favorites. Same idea here. It'll turn up the decay to six seconds from two, and it and it boosts the mix. A good so bit. Way also. more reverb. Way more reverb, which you'll see. I'm I'm hitting stuff and changing stuff. I tried to showcase in this next playthrough, like 
everything I'm doing with this. More reverb, more delay, chorus, overdrives, and whatnot. I will make a note about the reverb. One thing I've noticed when doing this, um, when you jump, so if you turn reverb on and off in Helix, you can set trails on and off, right? Yeah. So if you turn it off, it'll yes. trail, right? But if you uh, set a button to lower the mix, that doesn't. You don't get you the, don't trail get the trail effect. Yeah. You basically it just goes, you, you just a lot of reverb, just less reverb. Yeah, and if you so it can feel abrupt. And if you think about that as well, you're mm -hmm. like, how would they? Like it would be pretty insane if they because you're you're changing the decay of it anyways. Yeah. So if you were to change it, what do you want to have done with the trail that you just played? Right. Like it almost it's to be pretty intense if it ever to yeah to do that. So, um, yeah. So go right, moving on right along here. A on this foot switch turns on the king of tone. Uh, and that's second apparent. in your chain. Yep. yep, second in the chain after the chorus, and then this turns on the tube screamer. So on the the micro, if you want to uh, go to the tuner or if you want to go to tap tempo, you hit all three buttons for a few seconds, just a couple seconds, and you get into blue mode, mm. which uh, A gets you the tuner. Let's awesome. tune. There, look, it's tuning. Ooh, it works. Hot dang. C is for tap tempo, which we're not going to jack with right now because yeah. it's queued up for the right the song we're doing. And then B gets you back into red mode, which is foot switch. Which is on, foot switch. On and off. Yep, stomps on and off. And that's pre-programmed in this Jet Micro. Yes. Yeah. So when you get it, uh, Junior gives you a little set of instructions, mm -hmm. and in like thirty seconds, you. He tells you what yeah. to adjust in the helix. I'm sorry, in the stomp, and you get that thing running like so very quick. Basically, made it for the stomp. He made it for the really stomp. Cool. Yes, it's exactly for the stomp. Mm -hmm. So the other thing, if you press all three buttons real quick, you go into green mode, which is for the looper. So you do have to have a looper block in there. But if you want to use a mm -hmm. looper block, um, you can do that, and you can get access to it mm -hmm. very quickly. So one another thing I noticed on this, if you're going to turn effects on and off, like there's no. Uh, LEDs above each switch. There's right. only one LED to tell you what mode you're in. So you have to kind of see it on. You can see it on the stomp though. So yeah. It turns on. Which the the square on the stomp is like the same size as, as an LED, an LED yeah. anyways. So so we honestly now when I'm looking at this, it would may have made more sense to put the stomp switch or the micro switch under the stomp and put the stomp up yeah. top. But it looked a little more streamlined. You but you can do it however you want if you get however you want to. Yeah, so what else is in the patch? So you've got the chorus, the two drives, the reverb and the delay, and then yep. the, and then an amp cab combo. The yeah. amp cab combo. Now normally we're all about some IRs. Right. Um, but I wanted to use an amp and cab and do it this way. Now, honestly, we probably could have gotten away with using one drive and then mm -hmm. using an uh, amp and an IR and just goosing. Set a button. Set a button. To to either increase the drive yep. or increase the gain on the end. Yeah, either way. We could have done that too. So again, lots of different ways to, to use this Joker. Obviously, use this whole thing to play a, a big set if you want. But we're gonna totally, make this you totally good. Oh yeah, everything you need. Everything you need. Like two levels more of than drive, that. delay, two levels of reverb. Yeah, and, and and chorus and modulation and modulation. And even then, I you probably could pull out like if you would prefer to get a little more fine tuned with the amp, you can take a drive out and put an EQ or put yeah. a compressor in or yeah. whatever. Oh, and I say that you can do this because we're going to make this available 
for free. Are we? Because right now it says new preset. Right now it says new I preset. I enjoy that you haven't named it yet. I haven't named it yet. <laughs> now, obviously, this is on a massive board. That's just what Brian has. Oh, the actual pedal board? The actual pedal board. Yeah. yeah. It's it, roomy. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of space. Lots of room. Um, hey. And we add through the volume pedal on there. Because... Right. Can I can I answer a question? I know this is video isn't dedicated to this, but I get, I've had received multiple like emails, support tickets, and things like, how do you assign a volume? How do you use volume in the stomp? Mm. And a lot of people, I think, are trying to add a volume block oh, in yeah. the stomp and then use like this pedal as the expression pedal to control it. Yeah. Which in most cases is over. You don't need to do that. It's way too complicated. Yeah. All you got to do is run your guitar into the volume pedal, volume pedal out into the input of the stomp. That's yes. the easiest way. That that is unless you, if you're using a compressor though, that may jack with stuff. If you put the volume before the compressor, because then there's no dynamics. So then the other right. option is use the a pedal like this as an expression mm -hmm. and plug it in to an expression to jack expression one and use it to control either the channel volume on the amp or like if you're using an or IR, just insert IR a volume. volume yeah you can yep. do that or yep. you just insert a volume block but then you lose but then, then you're you taking up one of your six so blocks. if you sign it as an expression pedal though it doesn't doesn't take the block up so i hope it's become clear to you that the the hx stomp uh while it's this tiny little package half the DSP of a Helix or less than half or something like that. Only six blocks. You can do a lot with it. You can make it your whole rig if you just need something simple. Yeah. Like if you're a rhythm player leading worship, like this is all you would need. Yeah. Just a couple buttons in your set. Mm -hmm. um, a few more notes. We've set up, you can set up the three buttons on the stomp to do any number of things. Mm -hmm. We've set all three buttons up to turn... Uh, effects blocks on and off individual mm -hmm. blocks you can set up snapshots if you want to do a little more complicated switching you can also make snapshots adjust parameters it's like you can make a snapshot turn your reverb mix up if you want and decay time um, you can set it up so that there's a tap and tune button on the yeah, stomp typically itself. the far left one is tap and then press it far right routine. yeah far right sorry yeah we've chosen to make the third button uh, assign it to an effect because again with the jet micro we have that option available to us for the to get to the tuner mm -hmm. um again you can use any sort of uh trs you know two button switch you can and plug it in you can use any midi controllable switch mm -hmm. system that you want the jet micro is just a really uh compact well thought out well made solution for the hx stomp itself Link for that below in the uh, in the description. How do you use your stomp? We're here. We always want to know how people use yeah, these things. Yeah, because I I keep hearing new ways all the time. So. We, and we build all these patches for. So every Helix patch we have, almost every one, except for maybe like the singer songwriter one, for example, has an HX stomp variation, and we throw everything in it from our Helix patches. Like you get multiple stomp patches with all the different effects and everything. But we so want to know how copy people and use paste it. And yeah, make your own out of the patch for the heels. right right yeah you can you can sort of set it up however you want but let us know how you use it we're always curious to find out what other uh people like us are doing and stay tuned for more wt tone videos check out! here at worship tutorials.com and also through the magic of video editing we're now showing you that this video is featuring these two shelton electric instruments guitars the skyflight 4 which is the crazy switching all these push pull Pots, phase, in and out, all kinds of crazy stuff on this one, and the uh, Jazz Flight Galaxy Flight, which is like a Jazz Master with Lambertones or Stretos. Mm. These are all Porter pickups. These are actually four different single coil pickups. These guitars are mm, very nice. So check those out as well. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.